All right. The week ended with the markets up slightly across the board today, putting a silver lining on a terrible week for Wall Street. People may be panicking about what to do with their money, but there are a lot of mistakes out there that you want to avoid. So helping us look ahead at next week and what not to do is Jeff Reeves, editor of InvestorPlace.com. We also have Jack Honor, editor of Barron's. Um, Jack, a lot of people panicking. When you panic, you make mistakes. What do you think is the biggest mistake that you see happening out there just in general right now? Well, they have literally been panicking for four or five years. So I, clearly, to me, the biggest mistake in money terms is the $1.3 trillion that have flowed into bond mm -hmm. funds over the past six years, while every single year people have been pulling money out of stock mutual funds, even while the market has rallied. I mean, this is the best rally we've had since Dwight Eisenhower. Yeah. The market's up more than 120% every single year, individual investors pulling money out finally in the first quarter they got back in could that be the top it's typical of individual investors to stay out until the very end and catch the top so of the rally so if you're one of those people that has moved in that what would you do right now well i, I think you have to come up with a long term asset allocation don't try to guess what the market's going to do you should be in stocks you should be in bonds but you don't want to go all one way or the other so commit to an allocation and don't get swayed by what's going on in any of these markets just have your allocation stick to your guns. and you, you have to write it down promise yourself <laughs> you will stick to it you won't chase you apple have a tattoo <laughs> on your leg or something that, that might do great it. idea that would be yeah. great okay jeff let me ask you what's the biggest mistake that you see going on out there right now no i mean i couldn't agree with jack moore i think that the problem is that a lot of people were scared and now they're going to get greedy and, and fear and greed or no way to, to manage your portfolio so i do think that people need to be prudent if they want to get in you need to think long term i think there's nothing wrong with maybe making some sector plays if you want to get defensive focus on dividends consumer staples but i completely wait, agree wait, wait, catching wait, that's the following tinkering that's tinkering we just told people <laughs> not to tinker and i don't want to confuse the people out there in the audience right now so so pick your poison jeff what should i really do I mean, if, if you're talking general advice for everyone, I yes. would say average in, in, a, in a low cost index fund like the Vanguard S&P. I mean, that, it works for 99 percent of people. But, you know, yeah. the aggressive people like me, they, they like to tinker. What can I say? <laughs> OK, uh, maybe you set aside a small portion of your portfolio that you're tinkering with or, or you allocate a certain amount and then you don't deviate from that. I don't know. I'm trying to find a middle ground. Jack, another big mistake. Uh, this I haven't seen written or covered at all, but oh. I looked into some um, trade publications that cover the insurance industry. And in recent years, whole life insurance has been doing much better sales going up nicely every year while term life insurance sales have been going down well guess what term life insurance is better for about 99.8 percent of the population why uh, because it is far far cheaper and that's the reason people don't buy it because there's no salesman to sell something that's cheap they sell the expensive product whole life and they prey on your fears you know all these people pulling money out of stocks have been told well the stock market is scary but this whole life insurance is a good investment it is not a good investment for most people if you're extremely wealthy if you're a hedge fund guy with cash flow coming out your ears it actually is great but for most people term life insurance is much better until your kids are grown don't you don't need life insurance anymore and then you're done interesting Jeff, how about you? What's another big mistake that you see out there? Well, I'm actually a little scared. Maybe scared is a strong word, but I'm concerned about housing right now. Mm. Uh, I mean, a lot of the investment that we've seen in some of these regions that were hard hit, like Las Vegas and Orlando, about half of the sales that are going on right now are done with cash. Now, these are speculators, investment people. That's how bubbles are made. And you have to understand, too, that debt is really, really cheap. So the fact that you're getting these, you know, people are passing on a 30-year mortgage in order to just buy a house with cash, that should tell you everything you need to know. So I'm a little, I, I'm, mm. I'm a little cautious about ho housing just because we've seen this huge run up in in home building stocks, a lot of optimism. Prices are up 10% year over year. But so you think that's Zerp another is, bubble in the making, even though that we, even though we haven't gone back to where we were, because a lot of people are I, saying I'm, it's it's early days yet in housing. You think we're just building up another bubble? I mean, I wouldn't call it another bubble, but I would say that you need to expect this to plateau. I mean, ZERP isn't going to last forever. There's, interest rates are going to go up. And just like as we saw after the Obama package in 2009, where there was a big interest in home ownership to get an $8,000 tax credit and it rolled back, I mean, you're going to see some serious rollback when interest rates go up and people are paying a lot more on a monthly mortgage payment. And then also the cheap houses are gone. Short sales have been sucked up by these speculators. And after the speculators have their properties that they're renting out for a hefty profit, I mean, it, it's going to have to plateau. So I wouldn't say yeah. a crash, but I think people have to be realistic. Housing is not a good investment. I mean, last month there was a survey that said the two investment classes Americans thought were best right now were gold and housing. <laughs> how's, go how's gold gone yeah. in the last couple of weeks for us? Yeah, so so be I careful mean, in housing. Your housing market makes a lot of sense. You know, it, it would be so unlike the government to create another bubble somewhere and distort <laughs> and dislocate a market. That would be shocking. Thanks to both of you. Great ideas. We appreciate it. Good pitfalls. All Thanks, right.